ar hyn o bryd, mae 1,254 o gynghorwyr yng Nghymru. Oedran cyfartalog cynghorydd yng Nghymru yw 60. Mae 99.400 o gynghorwyr yn wyn. Bydd etholiadau llywodraeth leol nesaf yng Nghymru yn 2022. Gall bron unrhyw un bod yn gynghorydd, ac mae'n bwysig iawn bod amrywiaeth o wahanol bobl yn cael eu hethol i gynrychioli pawb yn eu cymunedau. Mae llywodraeth leol angen mwy o gynghorwyr sydd o dan 40 oed, benywaith ac anableddau yn hoyw neu lesbiaidd, yn ddi, yn eisiaidd neu yn lle afrifoedd ethnig. Mae Cymru yn dod yn fwy amrywiol, ac y falle y byddwch chi fel cynghorydd yn helpu adlewyrchu hyn. I mean, my role as a councillor is varied every single day. No, no, no single day is the same. When I first got elected, which was 17 years ago, I was the first ethnic minority councillor. Dw i'n meddwl mae wedi bod yn anodd fod yn ddynas yn fyddi ddynas cyntaf i arwain cyngor yn y smôn. Neb di'n neud o'i flaen, ond wedi mae hynny'n dangos a fyddi i'r cyngorydd fenga yn sirfon ar hyn o bryd. Felly dw i wedi be dwi'n ddweud ydy dwi wedi mal i'r mod o'di chwalu fo achos dwi'n hollio wahanol i unrhyw beth sydd i bod yn sirfon. Mae ers mynd yn arweinydd yn ôl ym mis mai, mae o wedi mynd yn, yn swydd 5-10 i 7-10 awr yr wythnos gynnau fi. Um, a wedi ma bod yn fam syngl hefyd ar ben hynny yn dipyn o her, felly dwi wedi rhoi bob dim i fewn i fod yn gynghorydd ar y rôl yma. When I come home from university, and sort of got back involved in the community that I was born and brought up in, I could see that things weren't being done, um, that we were at a standstill point and that young people in particular didn't have the facilities and services that I enjoyed when I was a, a, a younger person growing up in that community. I decided to be a councillor as I didn't feel like the council before me was doing a good job. I wanted to bring something different to the table, especially on election day. I was uh, 19 years old, so I was something different, which, you know, the typical, I think, local government person is, you know, an older white man and that is the statistics as well if you look online. Councillors do give good value for money if they put the effort in, especially sort of in the modern age now with social media. I think one of the things being so young is a lot of people in my community, young people, say, oh, we've kind of got someone who sort of represents us and speaks up for us. Oedd eich chi'n gwybod, os ydych chi'n cael eich hethol i brif gyngor, y cyflog sylfaenol ar gyfer bod yn gynghorydd ar hyn o bryd yw 13868 o bunoedd. Mae gan gynghorwyr yr hawl i dderbyn y cyflog hwn yn gyfnewid am yr ymrwymiad a chyfraniad a wnânt. Mae gan gynghorwyr hawl hefyd i hawlio ad daliad ar gyfer teithio a chynhaliaeth pan fyddant ar fusnes swyddogol. Ydych chi'n rhiant sy'n gweithio neu a oes gennych gyfrifoldebau gofal eraill. Gall eich cyngor eich addalu hyd at 400 a 200 yn eich. Gelwyr hyn yn addalu cost gofal a gellid ei ddefnyddio hefyd ar gyfer costau sy'n ymwneud â'ch anghenion cymorth personol. Gallwch hefyd hewliwch cyflog wrth gymryd absenoldeb teuluol fel absenoldeb rhiant. Y tal a dderbyniwch yw helpu i gyflawni dyletswydd eich cynghorydd. All councillors will receive um, a basic allowance which helps them then fulfil their roles as a county councillor. To enable younger people, people of a working age to get involved in um, elected um, life then you need to have that allowance to allow you to to do that. To help support you in your role as a county councillor you can also claim expenses such as mileage expenses and also cost of care so if you have any caring responsibilities whether that be children or for, for elderly parents um, then you can claim that cost of care back up to a certain figure per month. Yeah the salary is, is important, uh, it, it, it allows me a, a platform to do uh, a significant amount more than you know, if I, it was, if I was not paid, and particularly um, as, a, as a father, I can claim child costs as well, child care costs. So every councillor on a, a principal authority in Wales gets a basic income. Um, I'm also a chair of a committee, so I get an extra allowance for that, it's something that they call a senior responsibility allowance. And that's because as a committee chair, you take on extra work around the governance and leadership of that committee. Um, and some of the uh, more detailed policy work that goes into that as well. So you are, you are paid for the work that you do and I think that's really important because it means that people like me, working class people, are able to run for office and serve their communities. So I am currently mostly a mother, a councillor and a member of the authority, the National Park. I have two small children, I have a three and a five year old and the three year old is still um, you know, not in school so obviously there's a lot of um, childcare involved. Being able to claim for childcare really makes this job possible, otherwise uh, financially it's just not possible. Um, I, I know that um, some people 
view members' expenses as uh, kind of a luxury, or um, but absolutely, it's it's essential if you want people um, from different walks of life representing you on local government. Nid yw cynghorwyr yn penny eu cyflogau hunain. Mae'r fframwaith ar gyfer cyflogau cynghorwyr yn cael ei osod gan banel annibynnol Cymru a'r gydnebyddiaeth ariannol. Ewch i wefan y panel am ragor o fanylion am y tal a rhywfansau y gallwch eu hewlio fel cynghorydd gan ei bod i gyd wedi eu cyhoeddi yn y droddiad blynyddol y panel. Edrychwch ar wefan Cymdeithas Llywodraeth Leol Cymru am ragor o fanylion ar sut i ddod yn gynghorydd.